Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I wanna to show you how to get this matte mauve smoky eye. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you a step-by-step -step on how to prep your eyes, how to layer your eyeshadow and how to blend it. As always, please don't forget to like my video and subscribe, it really helps out my channel and let's get to it. To start, I'm gonna prep my eyes with the P. Louise eyeshadow base in Rumor 02. So I'm taking a flat concealer brush and this is how I'm gonna apply this eyeshadow base. And I'm also going to carve out my eyebrows at the same time and give them a nice clean look. So you can see I use this eyeshadow base like a concealer to clean up underneath my brows and to really shape and define them even more. This will really help to conceal any unwanted hairs, but also at the same time, since I did bring this base all over my eyelid, it's gonna keep my eyeshadow from creasing and it's gonna keep it on all day, especially for me, I have very oily eyelids, so this helps a lot. And the reason why I could use this almost like a concealer under my brows is because it's such a neutral color. It's almost like a skin tone. So it works perfectly in the spot. And you'll notice that I brought that eyeshadow base out towards my nose and then also out towards my temple. And that really elongates the shape of my eye. And it's also gonna act like a guideline for where I wanna apply my eyeshadow. So now I'm taking a cream eyeshadow. This is the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal. I'm gonna be using the matte side and this is the color Bubble Bath. It's just like a really soft, light, like a blush tone pink. Taking that color Bubble Bath with a small flat brush, this one's from MAC 239, and I'm just gonna start to pat this on my eyelid, but before I do, I'm gonna buff out any creasing that happened with my first eyeshadow base. That kind of tells you how oily my eyelids are, so I'm just gonna buff that out before I go in with my second product. So I'm really just patting this product on my eyelid, again, where I get the most oily. And then I'm gonna take a small fluffy brush and just blend out those edges so it's nice and seamless. Taking whatever's left over on my brush, which is a really small amount, you can see it's hardly anything. And I'm just gonna start to work that towards my outer corner, towards the temple. Just softly diffusing that base and really blending it into our first base we used. And by blending that second color into our crease, it's gonna act like our transitional color for the rest of our eyeshadows. So taking that first color secret with a larger blending brush, I'm gonna start to blend this onto my eyelid and into my crease. Now that I applied most of the color that was on my brush onto my eyelid, I'm just gonna to start to blend whatever's left over into my crease to start creating some depth. Now I'm taking the color Tickle from the same palette. It's more like a rosy tone and another clean blending brush. And I'm focusing that color on the outer corner of my crease, blending it in a circular motion and then bringing it about halfway across my crease. And now using whatever's left over my brush and just starting to blow that out towards my temple. Just softly diffusing any hard lines and bringing my eye shape further out. Taking the clean side of that same 239 MAC brush that we used earlier for the eyeshadow base, I'm gonna flip it and dip into T's. So taking that darker color, I'm gonna pat this on my eyelid. Rather than blending it on in a sweeping motion, I'm packing it on so I can really saturate that color. And I'm not going all the way across my eyelid. I'm kind of leaving that inner corner bare because I want to focus the darker colors slightly more towards the outer corner just to elongate my eye even further. Whereas if I went all the way in with that darker shade, it would actually close up my eye shape and make my eyes appear smaller. I'm gonna dip back in one more time. and really press that dark eyeshadow onto the outer corner of my eyelid. This is where I wanna pack on the color the most and have the most color saturation. So I'm gonna end up layering this color a couple times. Go back in with a blending brush 
You can see this brush has hardly any product on it. I'm going to use that to just diffuse that darker shadow and make sure it's nice and seamless and blending into the rest of our crease colors. So repeating that step on my other eye and packing that color onto my eyelid. Still avoiding that inner corner of my eye and focusing on the outer corner and halfway across my eye. Going back in with a clean blending brush, I'm gonna to start to diffuse that line just like we did on the other side. And I'm using really delicate light pressure because these shadows are super pigmented and they tend to move around really easily. So I wanna keep that color in the spot that I initially applied it and just softly blend out those edges. So I'm not going in and using like harsh motions. I'm keeping it really light and tight. Now that our initial eyeshadows are placed and blended, I'm gonna go in with a, like a dark burgundy eyeliner. This one's Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm gonna use this to further smoke out my outer corner lash line. So with these eyeliners, they say that they're blendable and they're long wearing, which they're both, but since they're long wearing, you need to blend them out right away or they're gonna dry down and you will not be able to blend them. So I'm gonna be applying this very quickly and blending it out right away. So now that that's applied, I'm gonna take a small smudger brush and I'm just gonna to start to blend this into the rest of my darker eyeshadow that we applied previously. And it's just gonna to help to add some depth. I'm gonna go back in and layer it one more time. And I'm really pushing this eyeliner as close to my lashes as possible. And you can see I only took this eyeliner about halfway across my eyelid and tapered it. So it's thinner going towards the center of my eyelid and it's a lot thicker towards that outer corner as you can see. And with any smoky eye look or any look in general, it's really all about layering those colors to create that depth. So now I'm taking a clean, even larger fluffy brush. And now that my initial eyeshadows are on, I'm gonna go in and make sure everything is nice and blended out and seamless. So now I'm gonna dip in to the color Raw and Love Bite and pack these two colors on the outer corner of my top lash line just to give it even more of a smoky effect. And then just going over that color, softly diffusing it with a blending brush and just layering it on that outer corner of my eye. So now that my eyes are tight lined with that black eyeliner, I'm gonna go on to mascara. I'm using the Caviar Volume from Laura Mercier. I'm just gonna apply a really lightweight coat because I'm gonna go back in with some false eyelashes right after this. So I'll be taking a full strip of Ardell Wispies and cutting them in half. So while my lashes are drying down completely, I wanna talk about the placement. If you look closely, you'll see that there's a little bit of a gap between my lash line and where I put the false eyelashes. So by applying my false eyelashes just above my natural lash line, what it's doing is really opening up my eyes, creating more of a lifted effect, and it's making my eyes appear much bigger. So now I'm gonna go back in with my black eyeliner. I'm gonna use this to fill in the gap between my lash line and where my eyelashes are placed. So I'm really just taking that pencil and I'm pushing it into my lashes and the false lashes to blend them. And that way you're not seeing that really small gap of skin between my lashes and the false lashes. Going back to my mascara, I'm gonna go back in with one more coat just to blend my false eyelashes with my lashes. 
So now that my eye makeup is complete for the most part, before I go in and do my bottom lash line, I'm gonna do the rest of my face. So onto foundation, I'm gonna be using the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation in 2W. So now I'm gonna go in and color correct under my eye and I'm gonna be using the NARS Honey Concealer. This is more of a pink undertone, so it's gonna to help to cancel out any dark pigmentation under my eye. So now that my under eye is corrected, I'm gonna go back in with a lighter concealer and this is what's gonna to help to brighten my eye and conceal it even more. I'm going in directly with the sponge applicator because this is my personal product. and I'm focusing the coverage and the color right in that inner corner of my eye where I tend to be the darkest. And then taking it just lightly up towards my temple. Same thing on this side. And then taking a little bit of the product and bringing it straight down the bridge of my nose and then highlighting the inner corner of my forehead right in between my brows. And I tee it on my chin, just in the center, and a little bit straight above my cupid's bow. Now I'm gonna blend out my concealer with a damp mini beauty sponge. And just using light pressure, I'm just tapping the concealer into my skin. Now I'm not gonna blend it all the way, I'm gonna let it dry down just a little bit more before I do my final blend. And by lightly tapping on the product, I'm maintaining the coverage, which is what I want to do. I don't want to blend out too much and lose that coverage because I definitely need most of my coverage under my eye. And this is really just going to give me a subtle highlight because the concealer is not super light on my skin. It's just, it's just a touch lighter than my skin tone. So it's going to be a nice natural highlight. Nothing too intense. Tap into my chin, next to Cupid's bow. I'm really, really being gentle with this blending because if I were to go in with too much pressure, I would spread that concealer. So I'm trying to maintain that nice, thin, straight line. That's why I'm just using really light pressure to tap in that concealer. Now I'm going back in with that first concealer brush. I'm gonna to start to tap out and blend out the edges. So now I'm gonna set my under eye concealer. I'm using one of my favorite powders for under the eye. This is Pound Cake from Huda Beauty. Now that I have my powder in the palm of my hand, I'm warming it up and I'm gonna take that same damp beauty sponge and press that powder into the sponge. And then taking that directly under my eye to set. And I'm just pressing that in under my eye, making sure I don't have any creasing and my under eye concealer is nice and set. Going back in with more of that powder, I'm gonna just bake the side of my nose. This is one of my favorite things to do on clients and especially myself because I do have more oily skin, especially around my T-zone, which is pretty natural for most people. And by setting the side of my nose, it really helps keep my T-zone nice and flawless throughout the day. I'm basically taking the rest of this powder and I'm using it to press and set anywhere that I get excessively oily. So like I said, my T-zone, the sides of my nose, right above my brow and doing the center of my chin, which is of course gonna set my highlight too. I'm going back in with a little bit more powder and I'm gonna take that right underneath my eyeshadow towards my temple. I'm just pressing it in. Now that my under eye concealer is totally set, I'm gonna move on and do my bottom lash line with a lot of the same shadows we used on the top. Now that the side of my nose has had time to bake and set, I'm gonna take a small fluffy brush. I'm just gonna dust off that excess powder. 
and this will honestly keep my nose shine free the whole day. Using a really petite blending brush, now I'm gonna go in and blend this all along my bottom lash line. And we're using this just like we did on the top eyelid, just so our shadow has something to stick to. It's gonna be our foundation color to blend the rest of our colors on top. Same idea exactly as we did on our top eyelid. Same brush, I'm gonna dip into Secret. And I'm gonna use this color to set my eye base. Now I'm going back in with a smaller pencil brush and I'm dipping into Tickle and mixing it with Tease. And just like I did with the top, I'm focusing these colors, especially the dark ones, towards the outer corner of my bottom lash line. And I'm leaving this inner corner a lot lighter, just like I did on the top. That way it's keeping my eyes nice and open. Because again, if you brought it all the way in, it would really close up your eye shape and make your eyes appear much smaller, which we don't want to do. Now I'm going back into our first eyeliner in Pillow Talk, that deep, rich burgundy shade. And I'm just going to tight line the bottom lash line. And then going back in one more time with our small smudger brush, just making sure there's no harsh lines, just like we did with the top. Same techniques on the bottom, making it nice and cohesive. Going back in with my Laura Mercier mascara, I'm just gonna take the tip of my wand to apply to my bottom lashes. I love using bottom mascara. I think it really opens up my eye shape. It gives you like that sexy, sultry effect. And of course it ties the whole look together too. Now I'm taking a very small fluffy brush and dipping into bare. I'm just gonna use this very sparingly just to highlight the inner corner of my eye. Going back to my face, I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Cream Contour in Fair. Moving on to blush, I'm using the Powder Blush Duo in Adore from Jouer. So I'm using a really fluffy powder brush because I want my blush application to be really soft, really effortless, and not the focus of this look. I'm using upward strokes and really keeping that blush nice and high up, almost taking this blush and blend it softly into that outer corner of my eyeshadow so everything is nice and cohesive and really soft and blown out. Moving on to lips, I'm gonna be lining my lips with the KKW Beauty 1.5 Lip Liner. And I'm choosing a more neutral nude lip liner because again, I don't want my lips to be the focus. I want my eyes to stay the focus, but I do still want to define them before I put my lipstick on. Keeping with more of a matte mauve theme, I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in Wifey. This is a really nice nude pinky mauve tone. Now I'm just taking a small lip brush and I'm going over where my lip liner is and just blending it into my lipstick. Last but not least, I'll be setting my makeup with the Urban Decay All Nighter in Ultra Matte. So this is the finished look. This is my matte mauve smoky eye. I had so much fun creating this look for you guys. It's sultry and smoky, but it's still pretty soft. And by keeping my blush and my lip a little more neutral and a little bit understated, it really helps keep the focus on my eyes and it balances out the look. Let me know in the comments if you learned any new tips or tricks from this tutorial. I'd love to hear from you guys. Leave a comment below and also let me know what you'd like to see next. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.